Michael, in, in, in 13, one of the ideas that sprung um, to my mind, having looked at it, was that um, how central, again, reproduction is. And um, is it too simplistic for me to say that once you've reproduced, you have completed the main mission of life? And, and therefore, this is a reason why the forces of natural selection tend to increasingly ignore us after that point. Well, your, your statement is all right insofar as it goes. If you replace the concept of the individual having finished the mission of reproduction with the concept of the population having finished with the task of reproduction. So evolution in no way acts on an individual. Here you are, you know, you're a walking, talking, living, breathing adult. You're not going to evolutionarily change. It is the population that you are a part of that will change through evolutionary time. So evolution doesn't really act on you. Events act on you. Those events acting on you then shape the evolution of the population of which you are a part. That's an interesting point because I, I, I know I drift into thinking that I'm part of it, evolution, but I'm such a fractional part, being one of seven billion people in a particular uh, time. So each of us is, in a life, each of us is actually just living out whatever the program allows us to do. Would that be fair? Yes, and one of the most important things to understand about 13 is 13 is about information. So you use the word program, and that's a really important word understanding life. Life is about the transmission of programming code through time, where the programming code is located in the DNA. So everything about us is we are a vehicle for the transmission of the programming code of our DNA through evolutionary time. So the, uh, thinking of us in terms of information technology it isn't too far wrong then in that there, there is a basic program that's running for me and for listeners and for you um, and that if we kind of uh, move outside the boundaries of that program it's not very good for us. Well actually the situation is worse because <clears throat> you could think of it in the following way. Um, you could be playing a video game and advancing to higher and higher levels um, like video games all have these levels and challenges and other irritating things in them. And, you know, um, young people with too many androgens, which could be both males and females, get obsessed with ascending through these successive challenges. But imagine what happens if the video game is really nicely programmed when you first start at the lower levels. But as you go to higher and higher levels, as you proceed farther and farther into the video game, there are more and more glitches. Mm -hmm. There are more and more things that happen that absolutely shouldn't happen that were never intended by any programmer simply because the programmers hadn't done as much work for the later levels in the video game, the later phases of the video game. That is our deal with respect to our physiology in the sense that our physiology is the product of really good programming produced by evolution by natural selection. When we're young, we've got really great programming, and as we get to later ages, frankly, the programming is kind of crappy. I find, so that, this, sorry, I find, I find that particularly helpful. So you can imagine, so like here, you can imagine like you have Super Mario Brothers, or whatever yes, they're called, yes. and at the start of the early phases of Super Mario Brothers, everything is fine, and all those things that are supposed to work in your controls, everything is working fine. But you get to higher and higher levels, the controls aren't working as well, and and bizarre things are happening and abruptly the screen goes black and then it comes back and it's all pixelated. All these ugly things are happening because there isn't the programming for those later ages. Natural selection didn't build in information to help you function in your video game, i.e. life, at those later ages. It may even have done something worse, which we're going to be getting to, and that is it may have deliberately economized on its information later for the sake of doing a better programming job earlier. Back to trade-offs again. Yeah. Exactly. Back oh, to trade-offs. Okay. 